boy. They aren't real happy with me. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, last night, my brother and I moved uh, the rest of my pollination bees to this location from down in the watermelon fields. It was quite a ways away, but these colonies are close to my house. And so it's probably five or 10 minutes away from where I live. It'll be much easier to manage these bees and get them ready to, to ship out for pollination. We have a total of 48 colonies out here now. We had 16 out here before. I uh, moved eight more pallets up here. Two of the slots on those pallets were empty. And so I went up to Ozark this morning and picked out a couple that I thought were, were good and strong and heavy. And I loaded them up on my truck and I brought them up here and set them in those two slots on these pallets. And so now there are 48 colonies. Today I want to peek in on a couple of them, but before I do that, I'd appreciate it if you would go down below and hit that like button to help push this video out to more people. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, just put it below. I've been a little concerned about this colony. It's been a little weak the whole time it's been out here. I would not be a bit surprised if it's being robbed out or if it has died out. There's a fair amount of activity at the beehive entrance. Uh, there also is some bee carnage, like some dead bees out there. Uh, so there may have been a robbing uh, event that occurred here. What I saw last time is very little brood. Mostly what I saw was drone brood. Some of the cells had single eggs in them. Some of them had like multiple eggs. Uh, it was just kind of strange. I didn't know if possibly they had just requeened and we had a young queen in here. I thought I'd give them a, another week or two to see what happened. If this colony is on its way out, if we have nothing but drone brood in here and, and drones mostly, I will probably just dump these bees out and replace this hive. I did put some food on them. There's still a fair amount of food in here. Plenty of bees eating that food. Goodness, we got beetles on this lid right here. Look at all those beetles. Just gonna smash them. Try to avoid smashing bees. It's the craziest thing I've seen. Typically by this time of the year, we don't see a lot of beetles, or at least in my experience, but daggum, look at this. Maybe we got too much space in here. Maybe this colony's on its way out. Uh, yeah, just nothing in there. Down this frame right here. Drone brood a little bit. I think we have laying workers or a queen that's a drone layer. There's plenty of worker bees. There's a drone there. Lots of drone breed though. At first appearance, you look here and you see about four frames uh, covered up pretty good with bees. Let's see if we actually have any regular brood in here. It is typical for bees to brood down, I call it, in the wintertime, which means they kind of back off a little bit, but this year it's been pretty warm and so a lot of these colonies are staying pretty strong. I see a significant amount of brood, but you'll see right here, it all is kind of bullet shaped, uh, big and bumpy. Nothing on that side, we got a little pollen. There we go, nothing but drone brood. Only drones being made in this colony, so. Now the in interesting thing is, right in this area down in here, many of those are normal sized cells and they just have single eggs in them. If there is a queen in here, and if she's laying single eggs, and they're turning them into drones, then chances are we just have a drone layer, maybe an old queen that's kind of fizzling out here, or one that did not get mated very well. Once again, I'm pretty sure this is all just standard old drone breed. Sure would like to see some normal brood and not have to dump these bees out, because uh, I hate doing that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. Nothing but drone brood. It is crazy how at first appearance it seems to be a, a viable a colony and a reasonably strong colony, but in reality, they're pretty much on their way out. So I've chosen to take these bees, shake all the bees out of here, away from the hives. The workers will fly back into these other colonies and help strengthen them. I'll take this box away and this colony will no longer exist and I'll have to replace it with a functioning colony as soon as I can. I hate to do it, but sometimes that's just what you gotta do. Just picked a random hive we'll break into that I moved up here last night. I did find uh, the one next to it on this side was a dead out. So uh, we'll have to replace that one as well. Ooh, I hear them buzzing in there. Lots of bees on the lid. 
It's been a while since I've been in these colonies and they got them glued down pretty good. I'm seeing some honey right here, which is good. Look at that honey. It's a heavy colony. Wow, look at that. God, they got it glued down. Honey. That's uh, nectar in there. That must have been brewed earlier in the season that they've backfilled with nectar. I have fed these bees some, but they don't need it anymore. Well, this top box is completely full of food stores. Every single frame. Typically, this time of year, I won't really go into the bottom box much, but just for the heck of it, let's see what we got. Fortunately, these bees that were down on the watermelon fields, when the watermelons were done and the tallow and everything was done, if there's farming going on around here, there's gonna be cotton close by more than likely. Cotton and peanuts seem to be the biggest two crops we have around here. So these bees obviously are in good shape from a food perspective. Oh my word. I have those boxes glued together. I don't know, it's probably been, it's been months probably since I've really been through this colony. I've just been letting them do their thing pretty much. Boy, they aren't real happy with me. <clears throat> there we go. I'm just going to pull out a frame or two down here, see if we see some brood, then I'm going to close it back up. This frame right here is hard to see. On the camera, you probably can't with the shadows, but there's a, there are eggs in that area. A little bit of brood. Next frame over has a nice little patch of brood. Let me show you, and then I'm gonna get out of here. See? Nice little patch of brood there. So, I think we're good. Plenty of food stores. We got us a little queen laying in there. This is a box I actually had reversed, so the medium is on the bottom. That's okay. I anticipate most of these colonies are similar to this as far as strength goes. Uh, they mostly feel heavy from the ones I've checked on, and there's really no need to be going in them much right now. If you feel that a hive is heavy, and you see significant bee activity at the entrance, there's no real need to go into them this time of the year this deep. I just wanted to kind of show you what we're dealing with here, and I imagine we have a lot of colonies that look just like this. Uh, this is one of the uh, 16 uh, hives that's been out here in this location kind of from the start and I peeked in on them I think it was a week ago and I just want to show you kind of what <laughs> what they look like out here I haven't looked at them today yet but a week ago when I looked in here look at this Isn't that amazing? <laughs> no need to go through those. They're looking good and they're pretty calm from what I can tell. Of course, if I start getting in them, they might be different. So uh, I'm pretty sure this was a colony that I made splits with back in the spring, early summer. Probably has a young queen in it. Uh, so it's a young colony, well-managed colony. I've done everything I think pretty good on them and I hope to be able to imitate my pattern with these bees out here uh, that have been out here for the last few months uh, more going into the future. So I've got a game plan I'm putting together in my mind. I've been learning from some mentors and talking to some people and I'll keep you posted on what that strategy is. As we move forward the rest of this year, I'm moving into 2022. Well, I'm really excited about these bees here in Midland City. I'm glad to have them up here as a matter of fact. It's just so much more convenient. And overall, I think they're doing really well. We'll probably have to replace a few here or there. Maybe have to equalize them a little bit as time goes on. Overall, I'm excited with how they're doing. That's it for now. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch y'all in the next one.